Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my little craft space or craft room, art studio, whatever you want to call it. This is just an overview right now of the space that I have. So I just have one side of the room. So I don't have an art studio just to myself, even though I would absolutely love that. But I'm just working with half a room. So it's quite a small space really, but I am quite thankful that I have room to have some shelves for storage and I've got a little cart and things, but I'll get more into the organization and how I store things in a bit. What we'll do is we'll work our way around the room. So we'll start over here at the left with my favorite part of my little space. So I have one of the Hobbycraft B tier carts that are essentially a bit like a Ikea Raskog and this is an absolute lifesaver with a small space to have everything to hand and I can see what I've got. On the top one here I just keep everything that I kind of grab and use quite often so my washi tape is something that I'm always grabbing so I've got a little basket here just to keep my washi tape in and then I have another basket here that I think was just from Poundland just to section off the cart because otherwise it's just one big tray and this is kind of a mix of things that I go to all the time and then also things that I've recently bought and I'm excited to use so for example I did a little haul from Miso Paper and bought some new stamps. So I've got them there because I'm really excited to use them. I've also got like my date stamp and some ink. So things just to hand that I reach for really often, like glue sticks and my favourite flower stickers and some rubber stickers as well. And also things from Happy Mail as well. And then back here, I keep all of the like journals and sketchbooks and projects that I'm working on at the moment. So I have my new junk journal, which I haven't shown you guys yet. I have just my normal written journal, my sketchbook. And then back here is the altered book that we are currently working on. And then I just have a pot of paintbrushes here because I accidentally bought ginormous paintbrushes so I just keep them off to the side here because it's the easiest place to keep them. And then moving down to the second section so this looks a bit messy but basically I just keep my cables secured on the side here and I just find that's really easy then when I'm editing videos that I've got all the cables and leads to hand that I need in order to transfer footage and edit things. On this side I have all of my paints stood up so these are from Paper Art See, so I've got a few of the like pastel colors and then these are from Pebeo, I think it's pronounced. I've just got a bunch of different colors of acrylic paint. This is a giant tub of white paint because I feel like I always run out of white paint. And then this is just some gel matte medium. Then over on this side, I have my watercolor paints, my stapler, because I'm always reaching for that. You see in videos all the time that I'm grabbing my stapler, so it's nice just to have it to hand. I've then got my pencil case. So this has just got some random like highlighters and things that are a bit too awkward to fit in my pen pot. And then in this Webster's Pages box, I have just got all my tiny scraps of papers just so I have them to hand when I'm working in my journal. And then just at the back here, these are the tube paints that I would use to refill my watercolour. I also have some metallic watercolours as well. And then back here, I just have a random sketchbook that I use just for paint and practice. Finally, on the bottom section, there's quite a few different things going on here. So I just have some random twine. I have my alphabet stamp here that I love to use. This tin has some gouache paints in. Over on this side is all of the embroidery thread that I like to use to bind my junk journals and it's all organized into colors so we've got some 
blues, greens, yellows, oranges, reds, and then pinks. And I wish I could say I was this organized, but when I got them from the charity shop, the previous owner had sorted these all into nice neat little bags. So it's been quite nice to have those. And I can just grab uh, whichever color goes with the journals that I'm making. And then back here is quite random. So I have some pastel fixative. And then I also have some talc, which is great for art journal pages. If I've used paint, I can just pop some of that on and then they don't stick together. And then I also have my hole punch here and then just a big pile of sellotape. Finally, at the back here, I have all of my stamps. So these are my acrylic blocks that I just keep on the top here. Then I just keep all my wooden stamps in a box there. And then just at the back, I have a pencil case that I have my clear stamps in there just so I can stand them upright. So moving around, we then come to my desk area. So full disclaimer, this part of the video is an ad because I was kindly gifted this desk by FlexiSpot who make standing desks. Now, you may be wondering when you've seen my videos before, you don't see a white surface because my old desk was a little tiny white one and I always film on a wooden background. That is actually my dining room table. So my old desk, I had nowhere near enough space to be filming videos on. So sometimes I would try to film videos and it would be really cramped and I wouldn't have enough room. So I'm really pleased with this desk from FlexiSpot. So I've got a really nice space now to work with. What's also really cool about this desk is that it's actually a standing desk. So let me just move the candle for safety reasons and then I will show you how this works. So underneath the desk here on the left, there's two buttons I will show you. So when you press and hold, the desk moves and you can move it to whichever height you prefer. So with it in a standing position, um, it's really great for me to be able to film videos with because I can easily then just grab anything from around the room and it doesn't actually have to go that high for me because I'm quite short but um, you can adjust it. I'm actually really really chuffed with how this has given me more space to work with and it's really flexible so that I don't have to be sat down all the time. So that is my desk. So on my desk I have some pencil pots with some pens and markers, pencils, all sorts of different things. I really like to have them close by when I'm working in my journal. I've got like scissors, markers, all sorts of different pens. I won't go into every single pen, but you can kind of get a good idea. Here I have a washi tape holder. I'm not sure where I got this, but I just keep my most used washi tapes on here. So some of my favorites. And then up here is my favorite part of my space. And you might recognize this from my Instagram because I like to use this as a background for my photos. So it's one of those grid boards that you can use to pin things on. So I basically just have a bunch of different like postcards from friends and prints that I've bought from various artists. So I have like some lino prints down the side here. I've got postcards and my pom-poms, if you were wondering, my friend Daisy from My Green Cow made those and I think they just look really beautiful. And the stars as well. So I actually made them with just some paint, some copper paint and um, some card, cut them out and I did them as Christmas decorations and then I never took them down. So the board does look a bit cluttered, but I think in the context of the rest of my space, if I just zoom out, everything's kind of concentrated here, and then I don't really have anything on these walls. So I just really love having this as a focal point just above my desk. And then moving on to my storage section, I have this unit here that is very similar to an Ikea Kallax unit except I got it from Argos. And I love that it's got different sections so I can sort of put my books and things on the top and then have these boxes along the bottom for maybe things that I don't necessarily want to display. So what I like about this unit is that you can either put it vertically or you can put it horizontally like I have, which when I'm working with a small space, it gives me another surface to work with. So by putting it horizontally, I'm able to put my printer on the top here. Um, I've just got a couple of plants 
and a picture frame. And then over here, I've kind of got an overspill of books, which um, I do keep down here as well, but then I kind of ran out of room. So I've just put some piles of books on the top here as well. And just for the curious, I actually used to work with Instagram a few years ago as an art ambassador. So I actually have three of these little um, Instagram plaque thingies. Um, which is kind of cool. So I just keep one there. So in the first cube, I have all of my old books that I get from charity shops that I like to flick through and maybe pull pages out from my journals. So I've got like, these are music sheets and I've just got all sorts of different like gardening and houseplant books. And then moving down to the cube underneath, this is not art journal related at all, but I actually have a box now for all of my uh, yarn so I have taken up crochet recently so I've just got this massive uh, box full of all different yarns that I like to just keep there and I've also got my basket with the project that I'm working on um, at the moment. So the next two cubes are my journals so at the top here I have my ink dories from Grace and Salt Ink. However, Rebecca is no longer in business. Her shop has now closed, but I did used to work as a ambassador for her. So these were previously gifted. And then to the side here, I just have a few um, sketchbooks. This is my completed junk journal, July journal. And then I've got a few more back there. So um, the reason that this journal is up here is I'll show you because this is my box full of completed journals and you know you can see how deep that is and this is completely full um, I do have a video on my channel where I walk you through um, a bunch of my used journals but this box is now full so I'm gonna have to think about what I'm gonna do in terms of storage so they're kind of up here now because I have this one and then I also have like there's journals in here as well like these are all, I think apart from this one, these are all full. Um, I also have one in here as well. So yeah, I'm kind of running out of room to keep my journals. So if anyone has any tips of how to store journals, maybe I'll just have to buy some more shelving. I can't bear to part with them. I know some people get rid of them, recycle them, burn them. Um, no, we can't do that to my children. So uh, yeah, that's what I keep in this little bin here. Then in these next cubes, so this one is just books. And then underneath here, this is kind of a bit random, so bear with me. I know in the comments when I did a post of like, what would you like to see? A lot of you were like, let's see everything. So this is everything and this is all the random stuff. So these are like the innards of books, just loads of book pages that I like to use in my journals, but I literally have so many of them. Um, they all go down there as well. I have some blank inserts, my HP sprocket. Um, I have my glue gun. And I even have some tea bags, which is really random, but I like to use cheap tea bags to do um, tea dyeing of my papers. And then in this final section, we have things that are a little more bulky. So I have a lino printing kit. And then in this giant box here that I actually got uh, from Instagram when they sent me something, um, I decided to hang on to the box because it's the perfect size to keep my larger papers. So there's not really any organization to this, but I just have like big scraps of paper that um, are a little bit more difficult to store um, and they all sit neatly in this box. And then in this box here, I just keep all of my like A4 paper pads and things. And then finally in this last box, I just have my really, really chunky accordion folder, which has all of my different papers in that I like to use um, when I'm doing my journaling. So this really isn't organized, um, but I just keep little scraps and things. So that's what I keep in here. And that's kind of where I keep all of my random bits of paper and to be honest I quite like rifling through here and seeing um, what I've got that I can use in my journal um, and then I also have just my Delphonics pouch here and then just some random 
um, notebooks. And that is everything that I have in my art space. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a behind the scenes tour. Thank you again to FlexiSpot. I will leave um, information down below in case you are interested in the desk. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.